Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. It was more or less the early years of the 6th century before Christ. The people in power were the Babylonians. And the Babylonian Empire was talking of nothing more than conquering more territories. The Babylonian Empire was at its height. And they wanted to conquer every imaginable place known to human history at that time. That was the, no the news that they heard. The news that they heard were all about noise. It was about war. It was about greed. It was about more new territories. It was about being on top of the world. And I'm not talking about the carpenters. It's about power. It's about perched, being perched on top of the pinnacle of authority, wealth, position, and greed. That was the news then. The news that we hear nowadays is all about Gaza and the, the war that Israel is raining down upon the innocent people of Gaza. We talk about the news, we hear about the news about Ukraine. They have no right to exist. That is from the point of view of the new Babylonian Empire or the wannabe Babylonian Empire that is Russia. But we also talk about the Freedom for Russia Legion now trying Russian citizens trying to outdo Putin. We talk about Ecuador's guns and we hear about the chocolate hills of Bohol becoming resorts and so many other tourist traps all over the country. It was the 6th century BC when the real news came around. And this is what we heard in the first reading. It was Jeremiah the prophet who said the real news and not just noise. Behold, I will make a covenant. I will be your God and you will be my people. And I will have a law not written on tablets, but written in the hearts of people. We have a choice today, and that is to listen to noise or to listen to news. The news that Jeremiah brings is not very popular. It's not going to make it to CNN. CNN Philippines has closed shop, by the way. It's not going to make it to ABS-CBN. It talks about a covenant and a law written in our hearts. If it is written in our hearts, nakakain ba yan? Makakapunta ba ako ng Amerika? Gamit yan. Makakapagmasyal ba ako sa Singapore? Forget about Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a dead city now because the Chinese Communist Party has killed it in the hope of developing Shenzhen. Hong Kong is no longer the sell buyers paradise this is the power of noise the power of greed the power of the new babylonians who want more power and position but then there was another one in the fir in in the first century ad who came around saying i am but a messenger preparing the way of the lord he must increase, I must decrease. It was John the Baptist who was proclaiming not the news of Julius Caesar and the news of Caesar Augustus, the news of the Roman Empire that took the place of the Babylonian Empire. It was John the Baptist whose good news cost him his head. We read it just a few days back. How Herodias manipulated her way and used her own daughter 
to whisper a few words to Herod in order to get the head of John the Baptist on a platter. Noise, news. News or noise is what we take for granted. Noise. The sidewalks belong to those who have the money to transform them into gardens. So if you have not noticed it yet, if you have not seen your own sidewalk, homeowners here have transformed them into gardens. It's okay kung nasa loob, pero kung nasa Doña Soledad at nasa France, walang malakaran yung may hirap. Wala. Iiwasan mo yung kotse, iiwasan mo yung basurahan, iiwasan mo yung kulahan, iiwasan mo yung magandang garden. This is new noise that we take for granted. Sidewalks now belong to those who have the money to transform them into parking lots. And all you need is a few posts and new flower pots. And bibili kayo sa Shopee ng bubong at lagyan nyo lang ng flower pots sa inyo na yung bahagi ng kalye never mind kung walang madaanan ang mga ibang walang sasakyan this is new news or noise that we take for granted another noise or news that we take for granted resorts can be built alongside hills and mountains that were once governed by the law of eminent domain Bakit? Kilala ko si Sir sa DNR at nagmamaangmaangan ang local government. Akala daw nila na tinayaban na ng DNR. Nagtuturoan, sabi ng DNR, yung local government. So, sinong may kasalanan? Baka si Metusila o si Abraham. This is the news or the noise that we take for granted. Another one. You can invent nine dash lanes to claim the ocean to be your own. On, on the basis of a revisionist history, you can claim through a nine dash line or a ten dash line. And soon there will be a twelve dash line because the East Philippine Sea is very promising with the Benham Rise. Unting ting umaangat yung Benham Rice. Alam na mga in-check na meron niyang oil, merong mga minerals, merong yaman niyan. Mas alam pa nila kaysa sa atin. May pagka ang mga Pilipino. Engot. So, resorts. You can invent nine dash lines to come claim the ocean to be your own. And the fourth noise that we take for granted. Service political service in the Philippines is limited to only a hundred families. So if you don't belong to those hundred families, kumanta ka na lang sa choir, maglingkod ka na lang sa simbahan, o magtinda ka ng kwek-kwek, o maghirap ka sa iyong trabaho. Pero kung ikaw ay kabilang sa isang daang pamilya na namamuno sa Pilipinas, well, yung pamangkin mo, yung idangkin mo, yung asawa mo, yung kabit mo will have a shot for the office of public service. We have a choice before us today to listen to Babylonians or to listen to Jeremiah. We have a choice today to listen to noise or to listen to news. And when I talk about news, I talk about the good news that Jeremiah said, I will write a law in their hearts. And what is in exchange for this? I will be your God, you will be my people. The first century AD saw the rise of the Roman Empire and the, the people of Israel then were of course under the sway and the power of the Roman Empire. That was what brought Julius Caesar to the, to the land of the Palestines, of Israel. But then John the Baptist came saying, I am proclaiming and preparing the way of the Lord. And of course, since he told the right news, he got, he got the wrong reward. He was beheaded. 
he was persecuted. He was cancelled out by the early wokists of the first century AD. So, we have a choice before us today, listen to news or listen to noise. If you listen to news, the good news that is, you hear liberation, you hear compassion, you hear repentance, you hear renewal, you hear authenticity, you hear salvation. When you listen to noise, then you hear death, you hear destruction, corruption, chismes. Ang galing magbintangan ngayon sa social media. Everybody is correct. Everybody is an engineer. Everybody is a psychologist. Kahit nag-aaral lamang naman sa Facebook University. Na right now, TikTok University is the name of the game. I was told by some young people who are quite tech-savvy that when young people want to know something new, they don't go to YouTube anymore. They go to podcasts. So, ang uso ngayon ay podcast. Or they go to TikTok. Not Facebook. Facebook is for the old, like me. In my Facebook religious community page, Pusong Katoliko, the highest segment in my Google Analytics, in the Facebook Analytics, says that the most number of people who can, who uh, engage in my page are those between 35 to about early 50s. Those that are hardly present, just a dot in the analytics, are those of my age bracket. Tuldok lang sila. 65 and above, wala sila sa social media. Nanonood pa rin sila ng bol ng Ewan ko nung, anong balita. Hindi ako nanonood ng TV so I don't know. Hindi ko malang alam nung, anong channel yung showtime. At ang alam ko lamang ay nawala na yung tahan ng pinakamalungkot. Okay. At uh, namamekot pa rin ang it bulaga. Okay. Yung tunay. Hindi ko alam yung mga pinapadunin yung balita. But I have it on the authority of reputable journalists that the sad reality about us in our times now is that given the choice between noise and news upwards of 80 percent will believe the noise they will believe fake news not the real news the real news doesn't sell good news doesn't sell and the mass is not very popular just look at you I don't see, 10 years ago when I was here, I still could see children running around. I used to complain about children running around during the 7.30 Mass. Ngayon wala akong nakikita kong bata. Nakikita ko ang mga millennials. At ngayon mayroon ng Generation Alpha. Luma na yung Generation Z. But of course, yung kaming mga baby boomers, kami ang mat- nagmamadaling pumunta doon sa, uh, akalimit ako yung tawag doon sa mga forgotten generation, yung mas matanda sa amin. Or the lo- almost like the lost generation. We have a choice before us today to listen to news or listen to noise. And you know what you did. You chose to be here this morning. And since you chose to be here this morning, then listen to the news of Jeremiah. I will write a law written in your hearts. But then what law does it serve? The law of God. I will be your God. You will be my people. It is a give and take. Hindi po ito one-way traffic. When we listen to the good news of salvation, liberation, compassion, repentance, renewal, authenticity, we listen to God's voice, not to the voice of those who peddle false narratives and fake news.